Monday, July 20th, The Daily Word. Ha <laughs> ha Notice the little choreography, which we'll get to in a moment. And our word today is moon or mooning. Now, this was a worldwide phenomenon in the 19th century, but mooning didn't get its name until the 60s, according to the Oxford English Dictionary. The dates that moon and mooning was a slang of the students popular at American universities. Now, the term derives its name from way back, way back, because it is an activity to show an insult by burying one's buttocks. <laughs> well, it was a phenomenon that could go all the way back to the Middle Ages, and Wikipedia claims that the first known instance of mooning was recorded by the famous Roman Jewish historian Josephus in the first century AD. Or perhaps you, inspired by that little choreography, remember Michael Jackson on March 25th, 1983, creating, inventing, and sharing the moonwalk for the first time live in honor of the Motown 25th anniversary. But come on, we really know what today is about. On this date, 1969, at 9.32 a.m., July, I get so excited. I mean, this is big historical stuff. July 16th, with the world watching, Apollo 11 took off from Kennedy Space Center. Inside was Neil Armstrong, <laughs> Edwin Aldrin Jr., and Michael Collins. Now, 76 hours later, which is why it comes to July 19th, they landed on the moon. Now, remember, Michael Cernan is off in Columbia, not together, but Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin are there. And then with all of us watching, oh my God. Two hours later, the Eagle began its descent to the surface, and then the craft touched down on the edge of the Sea of Tranquility, and Armstrong immediately radioed to Mission Control in Houston, the Eagle has landed! And then later on, five hours ahead of original schedule, Armstrong opened the hatch of the lunar module. He made his way down the stairs with television attached to him so we could all watch. And at 10.56 p.m., Armstrong spoke his famous quote, which, now this is the, it, it, pay attention on this one because most of us had this wrong, which he later contended was slightly garbled by his microphone and meant to say, quote, that's one small step for a man one giant leap for mankind. Slight difference. Now, Buzz Aldrin joined him later on the moon's surface at 11, 11 p.m. Cosmic. And by 1, 11 a.m., another cosmic. They both were back in the lunar, lunar module and the hatch was closed. They spent the night there. Oh my gosh, they did so many things, but you need to know, they left on the moon <clears throat> a little plaque that says, here, men from the planet Earth first set foot on the moon, July 1969 A.D. We came in peace for all mankind. Now, just as a bit of history, the last men to walk on the moon were astronauts Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt on the Apollo 17th on December 14, 1972. Pretty cool, huh? Well, celebrating our history with you. Look forward to sharing more with you tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay sane, stay you.